Yo, what's going on guys, Nizyan here, bringing you another video on the channel. Now in today's video, I'll be showing a tutorial on how you can get your season XP higher very fast and quickly in FIFA 22 Ultimate Team. But before I get started with today's video, if you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button and turn on notification to keep up with all the quality gaming content under 10 minutes. And now without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with today's video. So FIFA 22 is here. We have the EA Play trial and you might want to know how you can go ahead and get season XP very fast and easy. It's very, uh, very similar to the previous years in the way that uh, you get the XP. But I just want to reiterate that it will be a grind and you can't get to like rank level 30 very much in one day because there's not enough uh, objectives to do to get to that rank rating so let's go ahead and get started on how you can do that right now I'm just setting up my club name right here so don't mind me but that is essentially it so what you do to go ahead and get your XP up if you click under the main option right here when you go into the main menu of ultimate team under objectives under the home tab You'll be able to see if you go down to season progress, you'll see what level you are by the little XP tab indicator on the top. Right now, I'm not even level one. I'm level zero from the top of the screen, right? I'm level zero in the season. Now, the season usually changes every 30 days, but since this is the first ever season, it says 50 days. So right now, if you go all the way to the end, the max level is 30, right? And these are some pretty good cards, obviously Davidson being the best in my personal opinion. But if you want to get it higher, right, it shows you on the bottom of each level how much XP is needed. If you have no XP at all, you'll have zero, right? But if you're trying to get at the top, it says you'll need 100,000 XP. To earn 100,000 XP, it will take days on days. So don't expect it to get to or expect yourself to get to rank 30 in one day. It'll probably take two to three weeks to get to rank uh, 30. And you can see right here through the objectives tab that every single time you do a daily objective, you get around 180 XP and that adds up over time. And after you complete a whole objective, you get more XP. So there's other options as well. 638, 956, uh, 956 again and 680 for completing these objectives. And you just learn how to do them. And once you do them, you get a lot of XP by doing that as well. And that is just one of the ways to do so. I recommend doing the weak uh, challenges, silver, gold, and the team Kaka as well. All of these challenges, you can select them to teams. Uh, on the left of season progress, you will see this right here, icon battles. And you can select a team to choose. Doesn't matter which one it is. But after you select a team and you go back to objectives, you will see even more objectives unlocked for you. Uh, you can see right here, I select Zidane, so you can go ahead and do those objectives. It doesn't matter which one you choose between, if your team Zidane, Kaka, or I believe is the other one as well, you will get the same amount of XP and the rewards will be very similar as well. So you don't need to worry about that. But that is just some of the ways you can go ahead and get XP. Now, if you go under milestones here, uh, you do not get XP for most of these. Uh, I made a mistake last year telling you guys about that because I thought it would work, but it does not work through the milestone objectives. You do not get XP through that. Foundation, there are some that actually give you XP, I believe. And after you complete all of these, which are very simple to do, you might get a little bit of an XP boost, but not a, uh, a certain or a crazy amount. So objectives, this tab right here is what really gets you a lot of XP. Also guys, playing online games and completing those online challenges will get you some XP as well. Now what I mean by that, if you go under the play tab right here and you go under division rivals and you play a division rivals game, most likely you will get XP. You do not get XP for playing um, squad battles, unfortunately, because that's an online mode. You also get XP for playing uh, for champions, I believe, a significant amount. And for friendlies, I think you get some as well, but none of the offline modes you will get XP on, unfortunately. And that's just some of the ways they can go ahead and get XP and progress faster in FIFA 22 Ultimate Team. If you guys have any other questions, comments or concerns, leave it in the comment section down below and stay tuned for more SBC and FIFA 22 uh, tutorials. That's been it. It's been a bonus. Let me catch you all in my next video. Peace out.